and this is Redbeard and on today's adventure I'm camping at Stanton Park in Canyonville, Oregon. This is a pretty nice park. I, I found it because I stopped at a rest stop and I was tired. I was thinking about trying to either head to the coast, the Oregon coast, or, or maybe make it all the way back home. But I got up I five a little bit and realized I'm a little more tired than I thought I was. All the hiking I did and I didn't really sleep that well on Mount Shasta. So I saw that rest stop and said, okay, let me find out if there's any place I can camp nearby. And uh, this was one of them. The other one is an RV park. Because uh, we're... If you've ever driven, driven down I-5 and seen that Seven Feathers, uh, that's, that's the same exit I'm at now. Well, good morning. Welcome to my tent. It's a cozy little spot. I got my Kelty Tuck 20. Works pretty well. Got my gear bag. Keep my food here with me. And my clothing bag. And uh, earplugs and stuff. You can probably hear the traffic off in the distance. And then outside of my door, there's a little vestibule just big enough for my shoes. Keep my water out there as well. But uh, yeah, my Cabela's extra large pad. There's not much to it. I can hang clothes up. Hang a flashlight, more clothes. And that's basically, that's all there is to it. A tiny little tent. So last night I used my bike as a clothes dryer. Some of those clothes have been wearing for a couple days, so it was good to air them out. Had a good bit of dew fall. So I gotta wait for the sun to come dry everything out, but you gotta dry the tent out anyway. So here in the park, where I'm camping, uh, there's a little memorial. It's uh, devoted to, it says, dedicated to the men who lost their lives in a tragic landslide on Canyon Mountain, January 16, 1974. Their efforts to restore vital communications exemplify the highest traditions of those who serve. And it's built by the, uh, you can kind of read it down there. The memorial was built by their friends and co workers in their memory. And there's a list of them. 1974 landslide. And this park has another memorial. Original park board member. Served from 1950-1963. Speaking of original park board member, here's something that looks like the original part of the park. I've never seen anything like this one. I imagine you can climb all over that thing. Yeah. Look at that. Been painted numerous times. Looks like it could definitely use another paint job. And it's got more modern park or more modern play structure. And then it's got a set of swings, which I know my boys would like some swings. So here I am in a little open area here. Got some picnic tables, uh, a lot of space. You can, uh, you can certainly do certainly do some big events here. Play some soccer. There's some ultimate frisbee down in the in the field. So what's a good park without uh, a place to play some horseshoes? So there's a little bit of sunlight on my tent now. I need more to help dry off all the dew. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.